Are you considering buying a vintage home, but aren't sure what red flags to watch out for on your home walkthroughs and inspection reports? Then stick around, because in this video, I'm going to talk about three areas to watch out for in vintage homes to help you avoid costly surprises down the road. If we haven't met before, my name is Abby Willard. I'm a real estate agent who specializes in buying and selling vintage homes in St. Paul, Minnesota. The first area you'll want to watch out for is old plumbing. Builders used to use galvanized pipes, which were made from iron. And over time, these pipes can rust and become full of debris. This can create big issues with things like low water pressure, cause iron to leach into your drinking water, and pipes can crack and leak into your ceiling or walls. Now ideally, the plumbing has been updated at some point to copper pipes or PEX, which is a plastic material. But if the plumbing has never been updated, you'll want to make sure you are setting money aside as at some point you'll likely need to update or make a major repair to that house system. In addition to the plumbing inside the home, you're going to want more information about the main sewer line. In older neighborhoods, sewer lines were typically made from clay, and over the years, tree roots can infiltrate these pipes, causing cracks, drainage, and clogs. If the sewer line is original, you'll want to ask for a sewer scope as part of your inspection to check it out. Sometimes the sewer line just needs to be cleared out and this can be done in a few hours and for maybe a few hundred dollars. But sometimes the line has a major crack or has become blocked. And in this case, it may need to be replaced sooner rather than later, which could cost thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars. And that's not a bill you want to end up stuck with if you can help it. Next up, I wanna talk about the electrical system. An updated electrical system will typically have circuit breakers, which are those little switches that flip back and forth. An older electrical system is called a knob and tube system. Copper wires in this type of system are typically insulated with rubber or cloth, which can break down over time. And although some knob and tube systems are safe to use and function well, you need to be aware of some of the potential issues. Modern electrical boxes typically have 150 to 200 amp service, which supports all of our modern appliances. So things like microwaves, toaster ovens, and televisions. But these older electrical systems weren't built to support those types of appliances. So if you overload the system, and especially if the electrical system is in disrepair, you could have an increased risk of fire. So just something to note, if you see a knob and tube electrical system, you're going to want to consider updating that to meet current safety standards. So now I've told you about three key areas you need to pay attention to when you're doing a vintage home walkthrough and on inspection reports. Stick around for my next video, where I'll talk about the three items that often come up on vintage home inspection reports that you shouldn't lose any sleep over. If you're thinking of buying or selling a vintage home in St. Paul or Minneapolis, I would love to talk with you. I'm an old home certified real estate agent. I've owned a vintage home since 2008, and I would love to help you find your vintage home. So please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to chat.